Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy and today we are talking about Final Fantasy being developed as a live action TV series. Uh, obviously this is very early talks, it's just you know just getting off the ground I think. Um, who knows, maybe they started a little bit on the brainstorming of it, but uh, you know right now this is just an announcement and we don't know if this is actually going to happen, but if so I'm, I'm kind of excited to be honest with you. Uh, check out that gorgeous image there, I think that's from Final Fantasy 14. I think that's what this is going to be set in. I was looking a little bit about this before I you know went on the the to make the video here but uh, most of this is going to be new information to me so buckle in because we're going to check this out together uh, this is from entertainment weekly one of the single most storied video game franchises is coming to tv on thursday hive mind the production company behind the expanse which by the way if you've never seen the expanse and you like sci-fi stuff i would recommend it it's really good uh that and krypton are currently my two favorite sci-fi shows on tv and uh probably my two favorite sci-fi shows since even, I mean, I haven't seen Black Mirror or some of these other things, uh, but since, you know, uh, Battlestar Galactica, I really love that show and The Expanse and uh, and Krypton are very, very good shows. They're very smart writing, I believe, in those shows, I feel at least. Um, the 100 is good too, if you like sci-fi, um, but The Expanse and Krypton are up there for me. I really like them. And Krypton's only one season in and I love it, but The Expanse also one season in, I was, I was sold. Uh, so it took a little bit with the expanse like the first couple episodes like all right this is cool but where's it going and then once it you know hooked in i was on board so yeah check those shows out if you haven't uh but they announced hive mind announced that it was working with sony pictures television and square enix to develop a live action tv series based on final fantasy so to put that into like i guess regular layman term too uh announced that it's working with sony to develop a live action show uh, even I currently am working with somebody to develop a live action show. And I would say we're, uh, you know, uh, we're very early on. So just saying that could mean that they're, they had like two lunch meetings <laughs> like I have. I've had two lunch meetings and uh, granted, I'm pretty far into the development of it and uh, and, the, and the concept and creating the deck, which is, you know, how uh, I have to pitch it because it's like a reality show type thing. Um, so even that it's like, it's still early on. Like I'm, I'm working on it very hard, but at the same time, uh, I haven't even been in a room with someone who can ultimately make that decision. And these guys have, like they were with Sony and Square Enix. They've all had a meeting together at least. So they're further than I am, but still doesn't mean that they've come up with anything super concrete. Uh, but I think there have been some ideas that have been spit around like this here, um, saying that it might, it's going to draw heavily from Final Fantasy 14, which is the, the franchise's first massively multiplayer online game, which I don't know if that's true i feel like final fantasy 12 was an online game but maybe it just wasn't as big as 14 i know a lot of people love 14 and there's like expansions and all these things coming out for it and it's still you know making money for square enix uh so that's great to hear uh, i have not played 14 though i think my last one i played was 10 and 10 2 and then um and then yeah i think that's it i have i have final fantasy 15 pocket edition on my phone so i'm probably going to play that at some point and upload it to my gaming channel uh but uh and then we played the the one with the high school like where all the kids are in like a, a harry potter type school uh, like type something uh type thd or something yeah, anyway uh so yeah i but I, i've kind of fallen away from the final fantasy universe but i am excited for final fantasy 7 as you've seen my videos on that where i went to e3 and played the demo and stuff so i am very much a fan of final fantasy but i have not played 14 so it's set in the land of eorzea uh however you say that and uh, the show will explore the struggle between magic and technology to bring peace to a land in conflict. The show will also feature some general Final Fantasy mainstays, such as Chocobos and Sid. The latter is a character who has appeared in almost every installment of the franchise. That's right, yeah, if Sid has been in almost every game. I thought every game, but I think there's been one or two where Sid has not appeared. Uh, maybe 14 is one of them, so maybe this is our introduction to Sid in the world of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, but it says Final Fantasy XIV and... Uh, I'm not going to butcher that uh, name anymore, Eorzea. Uh, however you say that, please correct me down below um, how I'm supposed to say that because uh, I'm reading it phonetically, but I'm sure that's completely wrong. Uh, you know, but anyway, are, perf are the perfect getaway or gateway into Final Fantasy for longtime fans and newcomers alike, Sony Picture Television co-president Chris Parnell said in a statement. Uh, this show is about embracing and embodying all the elements that have made the mythos such as endlessly captivating phenomenon, and it's an immense honor to be bringing all of Eorzea's iconic characters, settings, and concepts, including fan favorites like Sid and, of course, the Chocobos, to life for a television audience. So it sounds like they have at least so, like a lot of ideas here. And again, like I said, I, 
I've already come up with a ton of stuff and I've only had two meetings and I haven't even had the ma the main meeting yet. So, uh, so yeah, they could be, you know, at least far along in the idea concept phase, uh, which is good. It's good that they're putting a lot of thought into this. Um, so let's skip down here. Casting details are yet to be announced, but the very fact of Final Fantasy TV series should be uh, enough to excite fans. Uh, yes, I would say this does excite me. I feel like every video game that gets made should be a TV show and not a movie. Uh, I'm not a fan of uh, them just jumping right into movies because video games, a lot of times, you know, they're 10 to 12 hour experiences, or they can be sometimes even more. And to condense that into like a two hour uh, adventure is never easy, which is why I think a lot of these video game movies kind of fail on that regard. And uh, I think they should be, you know, TV shows. Resident Evil, I feel like would be a great TV show. Silent Hill, I think would be a better TV show. Metal Gear Solid should be a TV show, not a movie. Um, you know, and I understand that people would be like, oh, but budget and this and that. It's like, yeah, I get it. You got it. You're going to have limitations. But if you want the story and the characters to be true to the characters, chances are you're not going to be able to pull it off successfully in a movie. Uh, that's just my opinion of it. Of course, my opinion can always be changed if someone out there, you know, does a great job at it. But uh, I don't have a lot of faith in, in that uh, side of Hollywood. But a TV show, I think that's great because you can really explore these characters and explore the world a lot and really sell people on the concept. So, yeah, this is exciting to me uh, i am excited for the halo show as well i don't i've been hearing a lot of bad things about the production of that show and and uh, and everything which is sad to hear uh, because i want these things to go off without a hitch but i also know that it's hard work making a tv show so sometimes when i hear these behind the scenes like oh it's it's falling apart or, you know the show's not doing well um it's like hey you know it's not it, it, making tv and movies is not easy and uh so it's okay if they have to struggle as long as the end result is good that's all I care about. Um, and that's the same with this. It's probably early phases, but as long as the end result is cool and it captures the spirit of Final Fantasy, then I want to watch it. And I want to watch it every week. And I feel like this is them reacting to, you know, Game of Thrones going away. They're like, hey, we can come up with a sh We have a franchise. Like, you know, like Hive Mind was probably like, hey, there's another franchise out there. Like Final Fantasy, it's kind of medieval with Final Fantasy 14 and stuff. It's kind of medieval. We can explore the world a lot. We can explore these characters. There's dragons. There's all these things. There's chocobos. They probably saw it and was like, wow, we can fill the void that Game of Thrones has made. You know, now without Game of Thrones, there's not this big epic that people watch every week. Um, so maybe we can be that new epic. So that's what they're probably going to do. And they're going to work together on it. And then they're going to find a network to try to pitch it to. So who knows? Maybe it'll end up at HBO. Maybe HBO is like, hey, we do want another Game of Thrones. And I bet you that's how they're going to pitch this show. They're going to be like, hey, it's it's, uh, you know, it's Game of Thrones with a with a uh, you know, a sci-fi fantasy twist to it as well, um, or even more so than what Game of Thrones had. And uh, that might interest HBO, or it might interest like another network who might be like, you know what, we want the next Game of Thrones. We don't want HBO to have it. We want it. So we'll pay double or whatever, you know. So they'll they'll probably start a pretty good bidding war over this thing. Uh, and I wish them luck. And I hope it lands on the right network with the right people to make this show a great show, because I want to watch I would love to watch Final Fantasy every week on TV. So this is my thoughts on it. I'd love to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for a Final Fantasy TV show? Uh, what do you want to see in it? What are kind of the, the mainstays that you'd like to see in this show? Obviously, we heard Sid and Chocobos and Magic and things like that are going to be in it. But there's obviously, you know, Final Fantasy means something different to all of us. So I'd love to hear what you think down below and what you want to see on the show and what network you hope that, end, you know, it ends up on. I'd love to hear that. So thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.